Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 19th, F Day. I'm Leanna DeVito. And I'm Tiffany Morano. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. If any underclassmen girls are interested in joining the Kennedy Live team, please email Alexa Bastardi at abastardi, kennedycatholic.org, or Zaria Bailey at, Kennedy at zbailey at kennedycatholic.org, or see Ms. McGowan. A push review will be held on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school in room 100 for the next three weeks. Now over to this day in history with Markella. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. My name is Markella Neofatidis, and this is this day in history. In 1982, Sally Ride is named the first woman astronaut. In 1994, U.S. Supreme Court outlaws excluding people from juries because of gender. And in 2013, Boston bombing suspects were killed and captured in Boston after four days. And that's this for this day in history. And now back over to the anchors. Thank you, Markella. And in breaking news, Puerto Rico just can't catch a break. Almost the entire island is in the dark this morning after a crew moving a fallen tower got too close to an energized line, causing it to fail and knock out power across the grid. Only a fraction of residents have regained power so far. This is the second blackout in two weeks caused by the same subcontractor, so the island's governor wants its public power agency to cancel its contract. Huge swaths of Puerto Rico have been without power since Hurricane Maria destroyed its electrical grid last fall, making it the second longest blackout in history. And for our featured stories, a condemned Northern California house with holes in the roof and mildew in the pipes sold last month for $1.23 million, a price tag that highlights how a housing shortage is fueling skyrocketing home prices in the San Francisco Bay Area. Listing agent Larry Gallegos said Wednesday he received three cash offers after listing the Fremont home in January for $1 million. The three-bedroom, two-bath house home closed $230,000 over the asking price. Two investors bought the house and plan to tear it down and build a 4,000 square foot completely green home they hope to put in the market within five months. Security cameras at an Irish gas station captured the moment a donkey being transported in a farmer's SUV attempted a window shattering escape. The video recorded by cameras outside a gas station in Littrum shows a farmer filling up his tank while transporting a donkey in the backseat of his SUV. The donkey can be seen climbing out of the front seat before attempting to jump out the vehicle through a partially open window. The donkey ends up shattering the window and making it outside, but is quickly stopped by the farmer and witnesses before it can flee the scene. And now we're to sports with Gibby. Good morning. Gibson and in the MLB, the Mets avoid a sweep by defeating the Nationals 11-5. Cespedes hit a grand slam. The Twins beat the Indians 2-1 in 16 innings. Wow. That's a lot of baseball. In the NBA, the Cavs beat the Pacers 100-97. to Baby Bron Bron had 46 points, and the series is now tied 1-1. to The Jazz took the Thunder 102-95. to Donovan Mitchell led the Jazz with 28 points. The series is also tied 1-1. to And the Rockets beat the T-Wolves 102-82. to CB3 dropped 27. The series is 2-0 in favor of the Rockets. In the NHL, the Penguins beat the Flyers 5-0. The Penguins lead 3-1. to The Lightning take the Devils 3-1, to and the Lightning are up 3-1 to in the series. The Predators narrowly edge the Avalanche 3-2. The Preds also lead 3-1. And the Sharks sweep the Ducks with a 2-1 victory yesterday. JV softball, the girls lost a hard-fought game to Preston 9-8. Varsity to softball, they trumped over the division rival Preston 3-1 behind strong pitching from Jess Rooney with 11 strikeouts and one earned run. Lexi Suarez went 3-3, for three, two stolen bases, and solid defensive play. They are undefeated in league play now. Varsity Lacrosse crushed Mary Lewis Academy 13-0. Leading scorer was Molly McSpedden with three goals and two assists. Emily Girolamo had two saves. Boys Varsity Lacrosse has a away game today at Mount St. Michael's in the Bronx. That's all for sports. Now back over the anchors. Thank you, Gibby. Well, I'm Leanna DeVito. And I'm Tiffany Moreno. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a great day. day.